After just over a year of reliable service and countless hours of testing, it's time to share my experience with the Still GTA 26 Mini Chainsaw. My name is John and this is my review. So where should I start? Well, I wasn't really sure what category this falls into. Is it a chainsaw? Is it a pruner? I can tell you, it definitely hasn't replaced my full size Ryobi cordless chainsaw, but honestly, it's not supposed to. Firstly, is it still or is it steel? Let me know in the comments your thoughts. Well, look at it, it's obviously a mini chainsaw pruner. After all, it does have a chainsaw blade. Everything is just more compact, but it doesn't half pack a punch with a chainsaw speed of 8 meters a second. And I really do like the battery level indicator on the side of the chainsaw. For comparison, that's only 2 seconds slower than my Ryobi 18 volt chainsaw, which is 10 meters a second. Basically, I think still have done an excellent job with this chainsaw, but there are a few things to consider, such as the battery, which I will talk more about later on in the video. Now, this still mini chainsaw does come into its own in the right situations. I've been using it for pruning and clearing overhanging trees. It's much better than my larger Ryobi because it's more compact and much easier to carry around. Plus, it cuts just as well. Now, don't get me wrong, you won't be felling trees with this mini chainsaw, but it does have plenty to offer. For me, I found that the Still GTA 26 has been very handy for pruning trees around the paddock, keeping the pathways clear of fallen trees and general pruning around the garden. I don't think I picked up my pruning saw since I got this beast of a mini chainsaw as it's easier and faster to use the chainsaw and it's proven to be such a versatile tool. I've also found it to be very useful for cutting pallet wood into sections which I then make into kindling with the splitter and then using my log burner. It will even cut through two pieces at once and as you can see it makes very light work of it. Sometimes with thicker branches it does stop the chain and I have to release the pressure a little and then start again to finish the cut. But this is usually only on thicker branches and usually when the chain has been used a lot and not as sharp as it once was. It's actually a sign that the chain perhaps needs replacing or maybe it's time to add a little more oil to the chain. But more on this later in the video as you can get two chains for the price of one but I have a little tip for me down in the video. Now when it was new, it would almost cut through any branch very quickly. In fact, in this video, I'm using the original chain which has done a lot of work over the last 12 months. Just keep in mind when watching other reviews, as they might be using a brand new chainsaw with a brand new chain. Overall, I found it to be a great tool for general pruning of trees and shrubs. Anything up to 3 inches in, in diameter, it has no problem cutting through, even pushing up to 4 inches sometimes. I've also found it a good alternative to loppers for those thicker branches. Now, it's definitely marketed towards homeowners rather than, say, professional gardeners or tree surgeons. At the end of the day, it's a gardening tool to be used in and around the garden. The main issue professionals are going to run into is the running time. I get around 20 to 25 minutes of run time from the included 10.8 volt lithium ion battery. This means you really need two batteries, which is an extra £30 for an extra battery. Now, I don't know about you, but I ain't waiting for batteries to recharge before continuing the job. With this in mind, I actually went ahead and purchased an extra battery for mine, so I get a good 40 to 50 minutes of work time, and I can be charging one battery while using the other. Weight-wise, I put it on the scales, and it actually comes in at just under 1.5 kilograms. So it's fairly lightweight, and from experience, I can tell you it's comfortable enough to use, it also feels very well made and a solid piece of kit. It has a nice rubber moulded material around the handle as well as on top of the chainsaw. Another feature I like is how easy it is to adjust the chain tension. Simply turn the dial to remove the cover and you have access to the chain bar and chain. Ideally the chain once tight should have around 1-2mm to two mil of movement when you pull it away from the guide bar. Now you'll know if it's not working very well as it won't run very well when you try to try to run it. And if it's too loose, you'll find that the chain comes off the actual chain bar. It's also a good idea to occasionally remove the bar and chain and give the chainsaw a good clean. Now I use an old paintbrush for this to get rid of any debris and make sure that the bar and sprocket that turns the chain is nice and clean. Now let's talk about oil. All chainsaws need oil to lubricate the chain. Now most chainsaws have a separate tank to lubricate the chain automatically. This is the case with my Ryobi. However, with this still GTA 26, you need to manually add oil to the chain. Now, it's easy enough to do, and it comes with chainsaw bio-oil included. However, it's easy enough to forget to add oil to the chain, but ideally, you want to add a little oil to the chain every time you recharge the battery, and it should be good to go. So, I don't know about you, but I like my tool to be in some sort of storage box or bag. Well, still have kindly included a storage, well, I'm not sure what you actually call it, maybe a wrap-around carry bag. So, it does do the job. Everything fits in nicely, the chainsaw, two batteries, the charger, and a little tub of chainsaw oil. I'm not sure I like it being open at both ends, as I feel like something's always going to fall out. 
but it does the job. So yes, I did purchase it with my own money. I've not been paid to do this review. I just wanted to share my thoughts with the world. I thought it would come in handy and it was a cool tool, so I decided I had to have one. After all, look at it, who wouldn't want one? For me, it's been a great tool, much easier than using the pruning saw, and much more capable than a pair of loppers for those thicker branches. And it also means I don't always have to use my big bulky chainsaw, which can be a little overkill sometimes. However, it won't be replacing my full-size chainsaw anytime soon, but yes I know, it's not supposed to, it's a pruning saw. I think it's a good choice for those who perhaps struggle using secateurs or loppers due to the strain on their hands. Ideally, it would be better if it come with two batteries, but it does only include the one. It's also surprisingly quiet, which is good, so you don't need to wear ear protection, but make sure you wear eye protection and maybe get yourself some gloves. If you carry on using it for any length of time, you really do need two batteries, so factor in an extra £30 for that. Replacement oil, I think, is around £5, and a new chain from Still will set you back around 13 quid. However, I found the third-party chain by Rotatech for £13 for a set of two. It's half the price of Still, and it does cut just as well. I've recently changed over and put a new chain on my chainsaw, and that's the chain I've used. So if you want to save yourself a little money, I will put a link in the description to where you can buy it from. That's it for this review. If you found it useful, please subscribe to the channel so you get notified when you upload a new videos. And don't forget to give the video a like if you found it helpful as it really does help me out. Thanks for watching.